everyone in today's videos we are going to solve this algebra problem square root of x plus square root of x minus 40 it is equal to 10 and we have to find the value of the x which satisfy uh, this uh, equation now first of all in the first step uh, we take a square on both side square on both sides we get uh, our left hand side will become square root of x plus uh, square root of uh, x minus 40 and uh, whole square it is equal to 10 square now in the next step uh, we have uh, square root of x plus uh, square root of uh, x minus 40 whole square it is equal to 10 square means that uh, 10 times uh, 10 it is equal to 10 times 10 it become 100 no, in the next step, let us consider that square root of x it is equal to a, and square root of x minus four t it is equal to b. No, it is in the form of a plus b whole square. No, we know that a plus b whole square it is equal to a square plus two times a b plus b square. No, we use this identity on the left hand side of our above equation. We get a square means that square root of x whole square plus 2ab means that 2 times square root of x times square root of x minus 40 plus b square means that square root of x minus 40 whole square it is equal to 100. Now we can cancel out this square by this square root and this square by this square root. No, our remaining equation it is equal to x plus 2 times square root of x times x minus 40 plus x minus 40 it is equal to 100. No, no, we have x plus x it become 2 of x plus 2 times square root of x times x it become x square minus uh, 40 of x uh, no this become minus 40 it is equal to 100 no we divide on both side by uh, 2 we get a 2 of x divided by 2 uh, 2 square root of uh, x square minus 40 of x divided by 2 minus 40 divided by 2 equal to 100 divided by 2 no uh, we have this 2 and this 2 can be cancelled out here remaining x plus this 2 and this 2 can be cancelled out and uh, here remaining uh, square root of uh, x square minus 40 of x and minus uh, 2 times uh, 20 it become 40 it is equal to 50 2 times of 50 it become 100 no on uh, adding of 20 on no here remaining x plus uh, square root of uh, x square minus uh, 40 of uh, x and uh, this uh, positive and negative can be cancelled out here, here remaining only 0 on the right hand side here remaining 50 plus 20 no we have x plus square root of x square minus 40 of x it is equal to 50 plus 20 it become 70 no on uh, subtracting minus of x on both side we get uh, minus of x here and here minus of x no this is a positive sign and this is a negative sign and we can cancel out uh, both of uh, this uh, x no our left hand side will become square root of x square minus 40 of x it is equal to 70 minus of x now in the next step uh, we have to remove this square root and uh, no in order to remove this square root we take a square on both side we get a square root of x square minus 40 of x whole square it is equal to 70 minus of x and whole square no we can cancel out this square by this square root no our left hand side will become x square minus 40 of x it is equal to 70 minus of x whole square 
No, let us consider that 70 it is equal to A and X it is equal to B. No, it is in the form of A minus B whole square. No, we know that A minus B whole square it is equal to A square minus 2 times AB and plus B square. No, on using this identity on our left hand side, we get X square minus 40 of X it is equal to uh, a square means that 70 square minus 2ab means that 2 times 70 times b means that x and plus b square means that x square. Now here is x square on left hand side as well as on right hand side. Now we subtract a minus of x square <coughs> both side now we get x square this x square and this x square can be cancelled out because of opposite sign same situation on the right hand side now we can cancel out this uh, x square and this x square now on our left hand side we have only minus of 40 of x it is equal to 70 square and minus uh, <clears throat> 2 times uh, 70 it become 140 of x no, in the next step, uh, we add uh, plus uh, 140 of x on both sides. We get uh, plus uh, 140 of x. No, here we also add uh, plus 140 of x. No, on our right hand side, uh, it is of opposite sign 140 of x. No, we can cancel out uh, both of this 140 of x. No, our left hand side will become 140 of x minus 40 of x. It is equal to 70 square. No, we have, uh, we take uh, x out and we get 140 minus 40 in bracket of x. It is equal to uh, 70 square. No, 140 minus 40, it become 100 of x it is equal to 70 square now in the next step on dividing both side by 100 of x we get 100 of x divided by t square divided by 100 now we can cancel out this 100 by this 100 and uh, which implies x gives out 70 uh, square divided by 100 now it is equal to 70 square means that 70 times 70 divided by 100 now we can cancel out this 0 by this 0 and this 0 by this 0 and uh, which implies uh, x gives out uh, 7 times uh, 7 divided by 1 it is equal to 7 times 7 it become uh, 49 thus uh, x gives out uh, 49 uh, which is the required value of the x now our final step is to verify either x is equal to 49 satisfy our uh, equation or not uh, our right hand side it is uh, in uh, uh, it is constant no taking our left hand side we get the square root of x plus uh, square root of x minus 40 no in place of x we substitute uh, x is equal to 49 which implies a square root of 49 plus a square root of 49 minus 40 which implies uh, 49 can be written as a 7 square and plus 49 minus 40 it become 9. No, this square and root can be cancelled out which implies no we have remaining only here 7 and plus a square root of 9. 9 can be written as a 3 power 2. No, this square and root can be cancelled out which implies 7 plus 3 here remaining only. Then 7 plus 3 it is equal to 10 and our right hand side it is also equal to 10 thus it is equal to our right hand side which implies uh, x is equal to 49 is our required value of the x we satisfy our given equation if you're new here make sure that you to subscribe our channel for more informative videos see you in the next video till then bye